Hey Wordsmiths, welcome to my daughter's room. Uh, this is my first vlog over here on this channel. I used to have another channel back in high school that I'll leave in the links below. I don't post there anymore, so it's more of just a like nostalgic looking back and kind of seeing where I came from kind of vlog. I originally made this channel with the intention of only uploading book trailers and like automated short stories. I originally made this channel to mostly upload my book trailers and some audio short stories, but since then I've decided to start uh, author blogging or author tubing or whatever you want to call it. The first reason I decided to do this was because my blog on my website wasn't getting many views because I'm not really a well-known author. And so I'm not getting a lot of traffic and I feel like I need, want and need to connect with you more on like a personal level so I thought that these vlogs would be able to do that. The second reason I'm doing this is because I love talking about my stories. I get so excited and so amped up and I feel like sometimes that excitement is contagious. For example, my brother, who is not a reader at all, I gushed to him about my upcoming novel, The Vampire's Fall, and I gushed so much that he wants to read it, which is amazing considering he doesn't read at all. Alright, so a bit about me. I will be turning 25 this May. Um, I am a mom of three children. My oldest has hypoplastic left heart syndrome. Uh, that's a, a heart defect. He's had to have three surgeries over the course of his life. Um, the first one happened when he was over a month old. The second one happened when he was about five or six months old. And the third one occurred when he was about three and a half. So far he's been doing great. Um, if you guys have any questions about HLHS, just leave a comment below and I will do a vlog on it. I have no problem doing a little thing about HLHS. Um, my second child uh, was diagnosed last year with ASD, which is Autism Spectrum Disorder. Uh, so some days he's really good, he listens, he's very cute and cuddly and happy and he likes to color whereas like other days or even other moments it could be a total like switch of the flick flick of the switch sorry uh he could be just awful he could be running around he could be pulling his sister and brother's hair he could be tantruming he could have give us the silent treatment and we have no idea why he won't talk to us he'll hit he'll throw it's a struggle, we're still adjusting, but he's okay. He will be okay. He's learning to control his emotions. He is learning what he's feeling is normal. He's learning all of that. He doesn't quite understand how he's feeling or how other people are feeling, but he's learning. My third child is our only daughter. Uh, she seems fine. She's really, really clingy. She's cuddly. She likes to be snuggled with. Her favorite show is Peppa Pig. Her favorite movie is Trolls. Uh, we're really excited to see the second Trolls movie. I never thought I would be because I didn't really enjoy the first one, but after seeing it so many times, I'm kind of excited to see the second movie. So, yeah. Um, all three of my children have long QT syndrome, which is another heart-related issue. Uh, it affects the electrical pulses of their hearts. They inherited it from their father. We didn't know that any of them had it until uh, our oldest son was diagnosed with it by a fluke. Like, he was having an off day, he got an ECG done, and then they noticed it. So, they after we found out with him, we found out that my husband has it. 
and then after we had our second and third, they both got tested, and they both had it. They had a 50-50 chance of getting it, all three of them have it. They're on medication to help regulate it. If you want to learn more about Long QT syndrome, leave a comment. I can do a vlog on that too. Maybe I'll do it at the same time as the HLHS video. Uh, I am recently married to an elevator mechanic. We have been together for seven years. It will be eight this September. Uh, but we got married on February 29th, the leap year day. So that's exciting. It happened right before all this quarantine stuff happened. Um, I have asthma, I have postpartum depression um, that I was diagnosed with after I had my third child, but uh, I'm on medication, handling that fine. Uh, we also have a dog named Mickey. Uh, we are big fans of Disney over here, so we named her after Mickey Mouse. Um, her color palette fits it perfectly, she's black and white. Um, she's a lot more timid than Mickey Mouse is, but... What can you do, right? I am a big fan of dark fantasy. I read it and write it in both young adult and new adult. Um, but I'm open to other genres and age groups. I am also working on a comic slash book series that um, is geared more towards the middle grade uh, genre. So like. It's mostly aimed for like 12 to 13 year olds. Um, it's called Haunted Days. I'll do videos on that. I've also done a children's story which I recently took off of Amazon because I published it through book blurb and it was just too expensive for my liking. Um, I didn't feel my readers would want to pay $25 for a 20 page children's book. So I'm currently in the process of finding a new way to publish it so it's more affordable for the readers. I also read adult romance, so like, um, I read a little bit of historical romance, but I'm more into the modern day romances, mostly like if the characters are in college or like just got out of college and are kind of like trying to find their place in life. I really enjoy those stories. Um, I have a couple in mind but I haven't actually written them so I might do a couple of vlogs about those ideas but who knows. Now before I end this video I wanted to give you an idea of the content that you can expect to receive from me. So there will still be book trailers and short audio stories but I'm also going to start releasing vlogs about stories that I'm working on, worlds that I'm building, um, I might do some writing tips, I might try and get some like interviews with other writers both indie and traditional published. You can also expect videos of my children <laughs> uh, because I'm a mom and that's what moms do. They show off their children to the world. But I think I should end this video here. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this and you want to see more, um, like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Um, you can also find me on social media. I'll leave my links down below. Um, thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!